5. Minikol Island, Lakshadweep. Minikol Island is the southernmost island in the Lakshadweep archipelago, situated in the Arabian Sea. It stands out for its unique culture, distinct from the rest of the Lakshadweep Islands due to its history and influences from the Maldives. Minikoi is the second largest island in the Lakshadweep group and is closer to the Maldives than to the other Lakshadweep islands. It's characterized by a crescent-shaped landmass with a central lagoon. The people of Minikoi, known as Mals, have their language, Mal, which is similar to the Devehi language spoken in the Maldives. They have unique cultural practices, dance forms, like lava dance, and traditional attire. The island is famous for its tall lighthouse, built by the British in 1885. It stands as a prominent landmark and offers stunning panoramic views of the island. Fishing is a major occupation on the island. The people of Minikoi are skilled in tuna fishing and have a distinct method called matia patrolling, involving the use of sails for fishing, while not as heavily visited as some of the other islands in the region. Minikoi has started gaining attention for its beautiful beaches, coral reefs, and opportunities for diving and snorkeling. The island celebrates various cultural festivals and events like the Lala Utsav, which showcases their rich heritage through traditional dances, music, and sports. 4. Dawar Island, Goa. Situated on the Mandovi River, Dawar Island is accessible by ferry from Old Goa or Ribandar. It's not as developed as some of the more touristy areas in Goa, which adds to its charm. Dawar Island is known for its serene and scenic landscapes, dotted with old Portuguese-style houses, lush greenery, and winding roads. It offers a peaceful retreat away from the hustle and bustle of mainland Goa. The island is home to a few quaint villages where you can experience a laid-back Goan lifestyle. The villages retain a rustic charm and showcase a blend of Indian and Portuguese influences in their architecture and culture. Dawar Island hosts some unique festivals, including the Bondaram Festival celebrated in August. This festival involves colorful processions, floats, and mock battles, commemorating a dispute over land boundaries. The island has some historical sites worth exploring, including the Our Lady of Compassion Church, known for its Portuguese-style architecture and religious significance. Dawar Island offers opportunities for nature walks and cycling, allowing visitors to explore its natural beauty and serene countryside. Compared to the bustling beaches of Goa, Dawar Island offers a tranquil atmosphere, making it an ideal destination for those seeking relaxation and a glimpse of authentic Goan life. 3. St. Joseph's Island, Goa. Situated near the port town of Vasco da Gama, St. Joseph's Island is a small, serene island accessible by boat from Bogmalo Beach. It's not widely recognized compared to some of the more prominent islands in Goa. The island is known for its secluded and unspoiled beaches with soft white sands and crystal clear waters. It offers a peaceful escape from the crowded beaches of mainland Goa, providing a serene setting for relaxation and solitude. Visitors can indulge in activities like sunbathing, swimming, and beach picnics on the island's pristine beaches. The calm and tranquil atmosphere makes it an ideal spot for unwinding and enjoying the coastal scenery. Boat trips from Bogmalo Beach to St. Joseph's Island are available, allowing travelers to explore the island's beauty and spend a few hours soaking in the natural surroundings. St. Joseph's Island doesn't have extensive tourist facilities or commercial establishments. It's more of a secluded retreat perfect for those seeking a quieter and less touristy experience. The island's relatively untouched environment supports diverse marine life and offers opportunities for bird watching, especially during migratory seasons. While the island is accessible by boat, it's essential to check for boat availability and schedules, as tourism infrastructure might not be as well developed compared to other tourist spots in Goa. 2. Kadmat Island, Lakshadweep. 
located in the Arabian Sea, Kadmat Island is part of the Lakshadweep archipelago. It's relatively larger than some other islands in the region and is known for its picturesque landscapes. The island boasts stunning white sandy beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and lush coconut palms. The tranquil and serene environment makes it an ideal getaway for those seeking relaxation and natural beauty. Kadmat Island is a paradise for water sports enthusiasts. Visitors can indulge in activities like snorkeling, scuba diving, kayaking, and sailing. The island's coral reefs and diverse marine life offer fantastic opportunities for underwater exploration. The surrounding waters are home to a rich variety of marine life, including colorful coral formations, tropical fish, rays, turtles, and more. Snorkeling and diving allow visitors to witness this vibrant underwater world up close. Kadmat Island has tourist facilities such as resorts and cottages managed by the Lakshadweep Tourism Development Corporation. These accommodations provide comfortable stays and access to the island's attractions. Visitors can also experience the local culture and lifestyle of the islanders. The inhabitants are predominantly Muslim, and tourists can witness their customs, traditions, and local cuisine. 1. Omananda Island, Assam Omananda Island is located in the middle of the Brahmaputra River, just a short boat ride away from the mainland of Guwahati. It's easily accessible by ferries or motorboats from Kachari Ghat in Guwahati. The island is renowned for the Umananda Temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva. According to Hindu mythology, it's believed that Lord Shiva resided here and meditated on the island, hence its spiritual significance for devotees. Umananda Island is not only a religious site but also a place of natural beauty. The island is surrounded by lush greenery, and the scenic views of the Brahmaputra River make it a tranquil and picturesque destination. The island is home to various species of flora and fauna. It's particularly known for its population of golden langurs, an endangered species of primate found in the northeastern region of India. Visitors can take a boat ride to the island and enjoy the scenic beauty of the Brahmaputra River along the way. The boat ride itself offers panoramic views of Guwahati city and the surrounding landscape. During festivals like Mahashivaratri, the Umananda Temple attracts a large number of devotees who come to offer prayers and seek blessings. Besides its religious significance, Umananda Island provides a serene and peaceful atmosphere, making it a popular spot for both religious pilgrims and tourists seeking a quiet retreat amidst nature.